Hey guys, Little Stuffing Incorporated, and I want to give you guys a happy Thanksgiving, and since I want to give you guys a happy Thanksgiving, I might as well give you a video. So, this is going to be a new staple on my channel that I'm going to call Forbidden and Limited List Breakdown, which is going to be a different set of videos this time around, but it's going to be over cards on the Forbidden and Limited List, whether they need to come back, whether they need to leave, that kind of stuff. So it's going to be possibly become a new staple on my channel if my reaction is good enough. So, yeah, let's talk about it. These are going to be, in this particular video, five support cards that need to come off the ban list. So, yeah, this is going to be purely for decks that need it, not really want it. So, with that in mind, just don't expect many cards that will make an archetype broken if it came back. That being said, let's proceed to the list. And here's going to be the first card I'm going to discuss, which is Elemental Hero Stratos, the obvious one here. This thing's been banned for a long time, and the time it came out, nobody could figure out why. And I still can't either. So, yeah, I'm just going to talk about this card, because it got better in time. Because we got plenty of more cards to bring it back from the graveyard, we got plenty of ways to summon it from the deck with cards like a hero lives. Yes, the G has that one, but they have, but they have Shadow Miss that one as well. And the fact that Heroes One Worlds over there kind of means that Stratos won't be coming back anytime soon, but that was years ago. So, if you were to bring this thing back, I don't think it would hurt that much. I mean, it boosts the consistency of Heroes, sure, but it's not really all that threatening if you think of all the other stuff that's out there right now, like Spirals and True Dracos. And besides, since this whole new rule thing is out now, I might as well say that this deck is hardly, hardly a threat unless you actually have Stratos back, unless we have most of the stuff that we need back. So, yeah, that's my opinion on that. You can disagree, but I think that Stratos should come back to at least one. Not three, because that's stupid. Not two, because that's ugh, so bad. But, you know, just one. And now this next one's going to be kind of a controversial pick, because I honestly hate this deck with a burning passion. But, I honestly think that Clifford Scout and Apocalypse Tower should come back. I mean, I think that Scout should probably come back to 2 or 3, maybe. Just because Links are out now, they have a new Link monster. It's pretty good support for them, but nowhere near as good as some other nuts can use. I mean, realistically, Clifford Genius is better than in other decks than it is in its own deck. So, if you bring Scout back to 2 or 3... And maybe even bring towers back to one, maybe? I mean, you could run multiples. I mean, this thing is a worse masterpiece at this point. Just because Masterpiece Turbo is much more practical, and you you can't exactly summon multiples in the Astro Jack when you use Wavering Eyes, now can you? So, yeah, I also think that this car, these two cards should come back. This is the, this is the archetype I have to use. Come on, the deck has three skill drain, three, and I think three, I, mean, I think I've just banned over there, but... That'd be not the point. Yes, they still have three skill drains, still have three lose a turn, and the OCG. So, what's the problem with actually giving them this? What's the problem with giving them multiple scouts and multiple towers? I see no problem with it, and you guys shouldn't either, honestly. I don't think that skill drain should come back to three, but that's just me. Skill drain's one of my favorite trap cards, so I'm kind of biased, so ugh, bear with me. Now, for the next one, is going to be another controversial pick. But I think instead of Dynamite Knight being banned, or Dynamite Knuckle, I love that name more, instead of that getting banned, it probably use a ban Masterpiece. I'm sorry, but, you know, their main strategy for generating pluses is Dyna was Dynamite Knight and Ignis Heat, and, um, what was that Draco Phoenix thing? But, anyway, I honestly think that it was a pretty questionable hit. Just because the Masterpiece is still a three card, the Mind is still a three... So now with all of the stuff, True Dracos are not even on the pie chart, and that's pretty weird. I mean, don't get me wrong. There are quite a bit of ways for every single deck in this meta game to easily get around Masterpiece Turbo, because Beals is a thing for Pendulum Magician, the Spiral Sleeper is a thing for them too. But still, True Dracos are still a pretty powerful deck. I just think that Dynamite Knight could probably go back to one, just because. Just, why not? It's not really that big of a threat at this point. Just because of how underwhelming True Dracos are being right now. But if I were to talk about it in general, uh, I would say ban Masterpiece and bring Dynamite Knight to one. Just because you have quite a bit more ways for True Dracos to play. You'll have better ways to stall, better ways to play. Just even more fun ways to play with True Dracos while still getting your pluses. So, 
I mean, you're that a limit masterpiece. I honestly God don't care as long as something's done about it. But, you know, that's just my opinion. You don't have to agree. I just think that should happen. And now on the fourth entrant on this list is going to be Pantheism of the Monarchs. Pantheism of the Monarchs can... Uh, yeah, I could come back to two, in my opinion, or definitely not three. I just think that Pantheism is fine at two. Because bring Pantheism to one... Heck, you might even put Aether on this spot, too. Just because... Monarchs are not really doing anything, and they are pretty much outclassed by true Dracos in every sense of the word. And I just think that Monarchs got to get quite a bit of their support back, just drink Stormforce to two, Pantheon to two, something. I just honestly think that this deck needs more to actually do anything, and not just be a casual fan favorite either. I think it can actually do something if it were more consistent, and nothing can brick, brick really bad anyway. So, yeah, I think that this deck can actually... You can actually have quite a bit of a support back. As much as I hate this thing, as much as I really hate facing Monarchs, I don't think that True Dragos are far worse as a deck. So, yeah. This is my opinion on the whole Monarch support. Now the last entrant on this list. Well, this one's going to be quite possibly the most controversial pick I've ever had for a video ever. But, yeah. I kind of think that, all things considered, this thing can come back to two from its single status, and I think it should be Zodiac Rapier. What is Rapier doing right now? What is Zodiac doing right now? Absolutely nothing. And honestly, the rats kind of got the shaft just because it was Zodiac, and it had it in its name. Unless you're Whiptail or your Thoroughblade or your Ram Ram, you were going to get hit in some way. And Rapier is pretty much just foolish burial for Zodiac combo, and... What kind of use is that? I mean, sure, combo is a decent card, but why ever have to run that and also run Rapier if that Gusto Emerald is already banned, Dryden is already banned? There is a ton of hit on this deck, and they can't even have two rats. I mean, it's I you know I hated Zodiac in their prime. But that's mostly because of Dryden, and mostly because of the co plus combos they have, and their splash ability as an engine. I mean, they're nowhere near as neutered in the ban list as the OCG one is, and we still have Barrage at 3. But I still think it's ridiculous. It's just, why? I just don't think that Rat should have been hit. To 1, at least? Because its other effects is where it shined, and it can't even use that. So it's more toilet paper now than anything else. So, yeah, I think the Zodiac Rap here can come back to 2. Not three, because that's stupid, but I honestly think that Rapier could just come back to two, just so it can do something, and be a better engine at the very least. So, yeah, that's my list, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like it, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, join the fight for Army, and together we will beat the meta. Talk to you guys next time. Hope you enjoy my next video. Have a good, happy, well, have a good Thanksgiving. I was almost a happy Halloween. Oh, dear God. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Take care.